She has an exclusive conversation with Chief Scientist of the WHO, Dr. Somya Swaminathan, over how there are rising cases of cardiac problems in COVID survivors. What kind of after effects or long COVID effects are we currently witnessing because of these infections or because of lack of protection or immunity from vaccinations, especially when you mention cardiovascular problems or uh, other such problems that are emerging? So basically what we're learning from the studies that, are, uh, that have been done where people have been followed up for a period of time, first is that there is a proportion of people, maybe 10, 15 or 20 percent in different studies who develop something called post-COVID or long COVID, which means that even after 12 weeks after they've had the infection, they continue to have symptoms. And there are main groups of symptoms are fatigue, you know, they're just not able to do the kind of things, the amount of walking or running they used to do earlier. Mm -hmm. The second group of symptoms is around neurological, what, what is called brain fog, just not being able to concentrate and focus on the work you know, as they used to do earlier. And a third group is around cardiovascular. You know, there are people who've developed you know, heart failure or irregular heartbeats, etc. But also there are these studies now showing that even up to one year, if you follow people up, there's a higher incidence of diabetes. There's a higher incidence of uh, cardiovascular diseases, heart attacks. And people who've had MRI scans done have shown that there's also an impact on the brain you know, on the gray matter, there's some amount of shrinkage, which is very worrying because it may accelerate, uh, you know, things like dementia. And then you have the group of uh, mental health uh, disorders, depression and anxiety have gone up tremendously uh, mm -hmm. around the world and especially in young people. And this is actually a much more difficult uh, problem uh, to tackle.